Yes, sir. We're back with another guide. This time it is going to be Snake Cloak Kabuto, requested by Darkwing14. Make sure you guys are voting on the character polls if you guys want to see a character that you want suggested as in the future. I'm going to basically be randoming them up in the generator and you might have a chance to get your character next. So make sure you guys are commenting, commenting, like, comment, and sub for more guides. Let's get straight into what this nasty snake can do. So getting into this amazing, amazing character, he actually got quite a few bit of buffs from Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm 4. And that's really just the fact that his Jutsus are able to be converted from. As you can see, you can continue. And the fact that you can now do his air combo and convert into like most characters he has two infinites one from naruto ultimate ninja storm 4 which is the easiest i'll show you the first one you're just gonna go ahead and wait for him to pull his opponent by the leg jump simple stuff keep going and then he has his second infinite which is the hit before where he pulls and you'll see that here where he uses the snakes to come out of his cloak. So how do you use his Jutsus? Most people only use this Kabuto for his Venomous Fog Jutsu because of the range and how much damage and venom that it does. But his first Jutsu actually has some pretty good range and usage out of it too. The damage isn't too crazy, but you absolutely can convert and get a good amount of damage in there, especially if you have the right characters to keep it going. And as you guys can see, combos with this Kabuto can be fairly simple if you have the right teams to support him. That's a bar right there for his chakra. He really doesn't have anything too crazy when it comes to toolkits and everything like that. He's a really basic character and he does require some bit of fundamentals if you're actually trying to use him. If you just want to main him as a support, that's a different thing entirely. But if you want to use the character himself, then it just really requires a good amount of fundamentals since his neutral game isn't too strong since his first hit is pretty slow. And not to mention that his infinite uh, generally doesn't connect because supports can stop you at any given time so again you want to make sure you have supports and time your infinite so that you can either hit supports or use your venomous poison fog to hit people support so that they don't punish you while you're doing your your combos but that's really all when it comes to this kabuto in terms of how to actually you know pick up the character and use him now i'm going to go ahead and hop on ranked and show you guys how i use him some combos some individual neutral tactics that you can pick up and that's really it. Sarge is not so much more to teach when it comes to this Kabuto, but again, to be honest, he's really not that that technical, and he doesn't have that much to offer to the point where there's a massive amount to teach. So I hope this really uh, helped a lot of you guys out in terms of how to pick him up and to get started. So make sure you guys finish the video, and let's go see what I do in rank. All right, so first rank match, I'm over here playing Griffnet, a known dude who plays rank uh, a lot, a lot. He's pretty decent at the game, but. His characters are usually overwhelming and very lockdown based. So I did take the L this game, but the point of these uh, guides is to show you guys how I use the characters at the best moments, not whether or not I really lose a game or not. So I definitely lost this game, but at a certain point during the match, I was definitely pulling off some really nasty Kabuto stuff. And I really tried to focus on using him as my main uh, rather than using him as a support character. And I'll show you guys how to do that later on after these matches. But this is basically just some solid gameplay of me versus Griff. Now, after he cooks me there, after a little while, I just start locking in and pulling off some really, really cool, dope Kabuto combos. So you guys can pick up some of these for yourself. And uh, this is just a really good Kabuto team that I suggest that you guys can try out because all the snake dudes work well together. And uh, there's a couple other teams you can use with him as well. But yeah. That's it for me on my audio right now. Just go ahead and enjoy some of these combos and take note of how I use them, my timing, my pacing. And again, it doesn't really matter whether you lose or, or win. It's just whether or not you have mastery over a character and can and can use them if you enjoy them. So, uh, yeah.
Hero, I switched it up in terms of teams, and this team is a little bit more aggressive, but definitely offensively, especially. Uh, this team is extremely offensively uh, aggressive, with Naruto being who he is and Rasa being there to back me up in case I get caught or to lock the opponent down. It, the amount of aggression is absolutely insane, and it just works really, really well when it comes to this character. Uh, don't do what I did there, something like a dumbass trying to be thirsty for hits because I lost a lot of damage off of that, but if I didn't do that, then... I would have definitely killed him there, but this team is definitely really good. I definitely suggest you guys can use this too, depending on which Naruto you want to use. It works well with Bullet Naruto, but I really like the new Naruto, so I went ahead and picked him up. Besides, I, I don't like Bullet Naruto that much anymore. And Ross, of course, being Ross until the patch, he's just everything you need in terms of offense and defense. And he's a good character himself. One day I'll be doing a guide on that, so check him out. But overall, this match was really just offensively uh, me forcing uh, him to come to me and me having the basically unlimited neutral just constantly coming at him, coming at him, not really giving him any chance to breathe. So that's really it on this match. And I pretty much do the same thing on this last match after this one. And it really comes down to me uh, using Kabuto as a support type. As I was showing you guys, uh, telling you guys earlier, I'm going to show you how to do that. And you'll see me do that a lot this game right here of... The second round of me using Kabuto as a support, getting that poison off, and then switching off when needed to complete combos that do high damage. So, again, that's pretty much it for the Kabuto guide. I hope you guys do enjoy the gameplay and understand a little bit more on how to use this character and what to do and what not to do. So, uh, next guide coming up will be Kawaki. The gameplay is already done. I'm already done. I just have to do the voiceover. So, you guys really do not have to wait that long. I'm going to try to get these guides out a lot quicker in the future so if you guys like these hey man keep showing me support the likes the comments i absolutely love the engagement from you guys the questions the inquiries all that stuff is great on my end so this has been kaizen guys i hope you guys enjoy the rest of the gameplay if you have any questions at all hit me up in the comments nothing is a dumb question and i'll see you guys on the next guide laters